Hi guys, welcome to a video in the video series on Unit 3, which is Drama, Week 4. I'm currently on the homepage which says Week 3, but again we're going over Week 4 content and the series of videos. This is just up here because we're finishing up. Today's Saturday when I'm making this video, and so we're finishing up this unit. Um, as you already should know by now, there's several ways to get to the modules. You can either click on Modules and scroll down to Unit 3, or you can click right here on the link on the homepage to Unit 3, and it will guide you over to Unit 3 module. So either way is fine. Navigating them doesn't really matter. You can go here to go to the discussions, or you can just use the discussion link here on the side. Same with all the assignments, journals, quizzes, essays. Everything can be found located on the sidebar or conveniently put together under a module. So we're going to start for this video, we're going to start with um, Fences Drama Discussion number 10, which is really the first discussion for our drama unit. Super meaty, there's a lot going on here, so I'm just going to recap it for you. Um, welcome to the first discussion. Um, your task in this discussion is to read and take notes on two really important documents for the drama unit. One is the introduction to plays of what is drama, an excerpt from the Siegel Reader, which is located down here. Um, if you didn't watch the last video, I'll go ahead and click on it as a reminder. It's a PDF and you'll have to rotate it so you can read it, um, but this is what the quiz is based on. So you can just rotate it here with the rotate button feature. Um, it's 25 pages. The concepts are in bold. Not all of the questions on the quiz are actually concepts in bold, so read carefully and highlight and underline, take notes on things that are relevant. Um, as a side note, I would, and a special feature here in the video, I would remind you that any part of the document where Aristotle is referenced is most likely going to be on the quiz. So again, Aristotle is super important when we talk about drama um, for many reasons. We're looking at Greek theater. Aristotle is a really prominent figure in that. So pay close attention whenever his name is referenced. Going back to the actual discussion, <coughs> excuse me, along with that document is another document, which is the play itself, Fences. I photocopied it for you in case you did not purchase it from the bookstore, but it's probably easier to read if you did buy it, so you can just hold it and kind of navigate through it and also write on it. But um, clicking on that link, you have it here, and again, you will rotate it. It comes from the Little Seagull Reader, so when you cite it, you will cite it as a work in an anthology from the Little Seagull Reader, 3rd edition. That should say plays. Sorry about that. The editor is Joseph Kelly. So again, um, this is the play itself. So for this discussion, you're reading both of those documents, which are meaty, and you are also going to take notes for the quiz, and then you will hop onto the discussion board and post two paragraphs discussing the introduction to plays and what is drama, an excerpt from the Siegel Reader, the one that I opened. You're going to choose a quote for each paragraph, which means two quotes from the packet, and apply it to the plays specifically. So again, for this discussion, you're creating two paragraphs. Both of your paragraphs should include one quote from the reading packet on introduction to plays, what is drama. So that's two total quotes. Each paragraph will include that quote, but will also tie specifically into the play. So for example, if you're talking about tragedy and how fences might be categorized as a tragedy and you would like to reference tragic hero, then you would find who the tragic hero is in the play and you would discuss that in your paragraph. It's a lot to do, but I know you can do it and you're fully capable. Just decide which concept you want to talk about and then weave the play fences into that concept so you're actually applying it. So again, two paragraphs. One quote from the packet for each paragraph, and then also tying it into the play itself. If you're not sure how to cite a play in MLA format, check out your little Seagull handbook or go to owlpurdue.com. That's the website that I use a lot for referencing that I've shared with you before. Um, look it up, right? So there's no reason why you don't, why you can't figure out how to do things because we have information at our fingertips. So again, ask a question on the discussion board or try to find it, right? Part of our job in learning is seeking out information and being resourceful. And that's how we gather and gather and grow our knowledge is by seeking. So I hope you find this um, video useful. After you've posted your two paragraphs, you're also going to read other classmates' posts and respond to one classmate in a thoughtful paragraph. Remember, this is a discussion, so you're building on ideas. You guys have been doing a really great job of this. It's fun to read your um, responses to one another. They're very personalized. They're very funny and honest. And 
um, intellectual as well. And so um, remember, our point in the discussions is not only to get to know one another and create community within the classroom, but it's to apply the concepts that we are learning. In this unit, it's the concepts on drama that you're going to find in your introduction to plays packet. So remember, whenever you are responding to someone else, you're going to be pointing out concepts and adding to the conversation because that's what academics do. They see what's being discussed and then they jump into the conversation. Again, I hope you find the video useful and I look forward to the next video.